Again, with the latest on the violence in Cleveland. Developing tonight, Cleveland police are investigating a shooting at East 75th and Kinsman Road. We're working to find out more about what happened there this evening. The shooting comes after a weekend of violence. The July 4th weekend was less than festive in many parts of Cleveland. Police say there were nine separate shootings in the city alone. Three News investigator Rachel Polanski is taking a closer look at the surge in violent crime. There were nine separate shootings in the city of Cleveland in 24 hours, a statistic that does not surprise Councilman Blaine Griffin. Unacceptable, sad. Or community activist Richard Starr. First thing that goes to my mind is why? Why someone has to bury another loved one due to gun violence? The victims ranged in age from 19 to 67 years old. None of the shootings were fatal. As far as why violence is picking up, Griffin and Starr point to several factors, including the pandemic. We are coming out of COVID, which people were pent up, and now people are interacting with each other a lot more. As well as access to guns. We have to address the, the root of the problem. How are these guns getting into our communities? And why are the people in our communities so, so fascinated with getting involved with guns? Meaning, why are the young people, young adults, are involved with gun violence or using these guns? And we want to note that this is not just a Cleveland problem. At least 400 shootings took place across the country this holiday weekend, according to data compiled by the Gun Violence Archive. And for those who think that gun violence is just a city problem, Councilman Griffin says that those in the suburbs should also be concerned. It comes to a neighborhood near you. It doesn't stay contained in poor and minority communities. Uh, this epidemic of gun violence can spread anywhere. Cleveland police tell me they are investigating multiple incidents of violent crime that took place this weekend. And as always, anyone with information is encouraged to come forward. You can do so by calling Crime Stoppers at the number you see on your screen. Rachel Plansky, 3 News.